Investigators say Amato killed three members of his own family after stealing $200,000 to send to a woman in Bulgaria. News 6's Vanessa Ariza is live at the Seminole County Courthouse where that hearing took place. And Vanessa, the state agreed to the bond, but they wanted a very high one. Absolutely, and very high being $25 million. The defense team asking for a, an amount much lower at $500,000, but in the end, the judge declining both of those suggestions and determining one in between. The state is requesting a $25 million bond. It's a bond amount Grant Amato's defense attorney, Jeff Dowdy, says is the equivalent to no bond at all. I think they thought he must have been Bill Gates, was my first thought. I mean, $25 million. Dowdy had requested Amato be given a $500,000 bond. The judge ultimately deciding differently altogether. At this point, I respectfully disagree with both of you. Uh, and I'm going to set the bond at $750,000. The bond hearing comes three months after Amato's brother and parents were found shot to death in their Chuliota home. The family had fights prior to the deaths as a result of a relationship Amato had with a webcam girl in Bulgaria, stealing $200,000 from the family to speak with her. His knowledge with computers was noted in today's hearing, and per the judge, Amato is to not have any access to computers or any devices that allow data. I don't think there was any evidence that, you know, he's attempted any identity theft or anything of that nature to try to get over to Bulgaria. Amato is not to have any contact with his brother, who is in court today, and will be ordered to wear a GPS monitor if he does post bond. His attorney is telling us there's still no proof he is the man who murdered his family. From what we have reviewed, there is still no physical forensic evidence linking him to this crime. And one of the questions today was, does Amato have the $75,000 to post that bond? His defense attorney saying they're going to have to get creative. They're going to have to think of ways that maybe they could make this happen. Also noting that the judge ruled that Amato is not to have any contact with his only remaining family member, his brother. So they're curious to know how he could come up with that $75,000. Now, also recently, Amato had sent a letter to his cellmate's girlfriend. We asked his defense attorney about that letter tonight. We're going to give you what he said coming up within the next hour. But for now, live at the Seminole County Courthouse, Vanessa Ariza getting results. News 6. Vanessa, thank you.